and I've got to say this morning, and, uh, and, and agree with every aspect, whether negative or positive. I, I think we, it is a, such a complex subject, mm. and I'm certainly not an expert, um, just somebody who takes an interest. Um, one thing on a lot of subjects, climate change being, I guess, the, the most major um, at the moment, mm. but other subjects such as clean coal technology, nuclear power, which my husband's an expert on, um, but that aside, um, the information I think that very often we are fed um, by the government and other organisations, I think they don't credit the British public, or, or not just British, but the public, ordinary people with much intelligence. I think you're probably right, Lynn. There's um, a lot I've of got, information. I've got living there. proof for you here. Sorry? Huh? <laughs> yeah, but sometimes. Sometimes good happens. Um, uh, so you think the British public uh, are, are treated like fools? There's a lot of information out there that people can, uh, can, can if they're interested, um, I've just got three, uh, well, two very specific examples. Go on. Um, I bought my husband a book on the Shackleton expedition, which was the 1800s. That's right. And within that book, um, I wish I could have found it this morning, but it's, uh, he's got too many books to look through. Uh, but uh, it actually Think said... of all the trees you've killed for those books now. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Well, all right. Um, but um, it actually says in there somewhere about the... Uh, he commented on the melting of the ice shelf in a very short space of time, and yeah. you're talking miles, not feet. Um, there was also a very... Lynn, Lynn, let's cut to the chase here. Do yes. you think mankind is contributing to global warming? Um, we possibly are to That's a degree, sitting on the fence. a very we, small degree. We possibly are. Come on. Are we or aren't we, Lynn? Off the fence. Made of recycled timber, I hope, but off it anyway. <laughs> are we contributing? I'm sure we are. With right, the OK, way. OK. Uh, forgive me for jumping, cutting through. You've got loads of other calls on. Uh, interesting stuff. Mike's on line three, Matthew. Mike, good morning. Good morning. Uh, where do you stand on the debate, sir? Oh, I think it's uh, definite that uh, global warming is occurring and we're playing a major part in creating it. No doubt about that. So how do, how, do you square, how do you square that with sort of Booker's claims that the ice caps are the same size they were 30 no, years that's ago? that's not so. Apparently there have been quite a few expeditions both to North and South Pole uh, and the, thick, the, the, the thickness of the ice is diminishing at an alarming rate in both areas. And so I, I think it's the uh, South Pole where um, the uh, ice sheet has disappeared uh, and now what was uh, once thought to be, you know, just a, uh, an ice sheet, they're actually finding rocks and, 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 you know, sort of parts of the planet poking through and all the rest of it. Well, and, Mike, and 50 years ago it was melting at an alarming rate as well. I mean, there might, I mean that, that's the point, isn't it, is that the ice caps have grown and shrunk uh, for millions of years. No, no not, not to the, the, the extent it's going now. People in, uh, in uh, uh, north of Canada, uh, they built uh, villages and, sit and, and, and uh, settlements on uh, permafrost. Uh, yep. that's, that's diminishing now and disappearing to the point where they're having to uh, actually destroy these villages that have been... Uh, we used, for to, we used to have ice years. caps. We used um, to have ice caps in Britain. That's true. That's you know, true. ice and caps also, used to be in Britain. They formulated our, our geography. So, are we still going are on? Still going? <laughs> okay. That's one of the troubles. One of the big problems I find with the green debate is people just go on a lot. That's just <laughs> personal. Mike, thank you. Let's have another. We have James, and he's on line two. Uh, and in fact, one of the points that Booker says, which I thought was very, very interesting, sorry, James, was That's that right. uh, uh, anybody who denies uh, global warming is happening is treated like someone who denies the Holocaust is, is happening, yeah, yeah. that you're some kind of uh, unbeliever. Anyway, James, what, what, what's your point? Well, basically, um, you know, as, as you've said yourself, the uh, countries, the world's warmed and cooled over the last, you know, millions of Remember, years. Yeah. Uh, 4,000 years ago, we had a Mediterranean climate, which, you know, today would have been a very nice thing to have. Um, but I think what the main thing is that if we do have an influence on uh, climate change, uh, we as human beings have got the ability to adapt to it. Uh, we can build sea walls, we can do all sorts of things, we're sure, sure, terribly ingenious. In now, instead, of, to instead of spending money now on something that's possibly a theory, why don't we just wait until it happens and then react to it? Because you're too late then, if you're, oh, no, you we're have not, to take action, not react. We can do whatever we want. If you look at Holland, Holland used to be underwater. We yeah. managed to pump it all but out, then, build then, big sea walls around it. But James, James, the years. government, James, the government um, is just, get James, the government is just working out at the moment 
what villages in, in West Wales it's going to provide money to build sea walls for, extend sea walls for, and which it won't. So, I mean, if you take your view, it's kind of, well, who cares if we lose a few villages or we lose Bangladesh or the, the, uh, the Maldives disappear under the sea? Half of the South uh, Pacific Islands. Yeah. It's but right. that's going to happen in hundreds of years, not in tens of years. But, I mean, the Maldives, they're talking about 50 years, aren't they? I mean, they're looking for, for new land now. Yeah, um, Bangladesh is devastated by, by floods every, every year. I mean, people... But, lose uh, but on, haven't on they the always scale? been devastated by floods? Uh, I mean, it's that, get, well, I mean, it's getting worse there. And, and again, I mean... The, I've been to the uh, to, to the Arctic, and and people, you know, literally, used to, these people say the ice was there. You know, it used to be there. We used but, to but travel. But if you were to go back, but if you could go to back hundred thousand years, we wouldn't know where the ice was or wasn't, would we? I mean, it's expanded and contracted. And it, it, there's always change. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there is not one rule that 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 doesn't say. But well, one point doesn't the, say that climate change is happening. But the or not, determining right. issue must be whether or not man is influencing the expansion or contraction. Mm. And that's the point which that's I'm still... That's where scientists differ. That's where they have the big row. Yeah. Is it man-made or is it just cyclical? Is it, is it you know, planet... Well, most of them believe that it is, that it's man-made, but it's the scope of, of how most much of it is man-made. Most of them don't believe it's man-made. You can't say that. That's a generalisation. Uh, well, they, they do. There, they was, don't. there was a poll in 2009 I don't that, care that, that the asked... Poll, 2009. I, I, you, you've Why got a poll. Because I've got a poll, too, that says that's not the case. Which one's yours? Well, well, <laughs> The U.S. scientists last year, the, all the, the data, the, is it called the YAML data, uh, which was based on the rings around trees, which was eight peer-reviewed studies have been rubbished because they based their studies on 12 trees, when in fact they omitted data on 34 trees, because they can date back, d depending on the rings of the trees, as, as, to, as to what the, well, the temperature the was. Like, yeah. Yeah. The, the Pew and Research Centre um, talked to all the, all the scientists well, you know, in, you're not, you're in this area. You just asked me and you're not listening. So you just asked me fair, what didn't cut in before he got the chance well, to say his well, piece, Carol, to be it's absolutely it's fair. But you just asked me a question. And no, you didn't. He was saying a bit about climate change and his disease, and you jumped in. I mean, either way, there are statistics on both sides. Um, nothing's definitive, though, is it? I don't know. It's